Sattler is the Secretary of Unions ACT and is very active in the refugee campaign. And union support for this rally has been really important and will continue to be critical to us building a successful campaign and drawing in many more thousands of people. So please welcome Kim Sattler. Well, you make me very happy. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge that we stand on Aboriginal land and pay my respects to the Ngunnawal people and thank them for their ongoing custodianship and for their very welcoming of the people who eventually invaded their land and killed them. Um, this is our history. Don't forget that's our history. Um, I'm glad to say that a lot of you took advice and you've come back with more people than we had at the candlelight vigil to pay tribute to the man who was killed at Manus Island, Riza Barati. Say yes to refugees. This has been a slogan around for quite a while, but we are now watching the tide turning. There are more people saying yes to refugees in a public and a demonstrative way so that they can actually show we are a compassionate nation. Whether you are a refugee, whether you have been descended from refugees like my family has, whether you've got refugees who've married into your family, or whether you're just a decent Australian who believes that asylum seekers are not breaking any laws, our laws or international laws. <laughs> Throughout my life, I have been uh, involved in activities that have, by accident initially, involved helping refugees resettle in Australia. The first refugees that I had contact with were Chilean refugees fleeing Chile in 1974. The second group that I was involved in were Vietnamese refugees and I have many friends in that community who were refugees to Australia. There have been many other waves of refugees ever since and this is our history. This is who we are, this is who we come from. So we have had a much more compassionate policy in the previous four decades to this current decade and most of the last decade. We can return to a more compassionate policy and you are a demonstration that we are heading in that direction. Let us all be able to hand on to our children and our grandchildren a far more compassionate Australia than the one we're currently living in. It is a very important point in this particular social issue. As I've said before when I've spoken here, the fight against apartheid in South Africa, the fight against the Vietnam War began very small. It began a lot smaller than this and it grew because large sections right across the community came to see that those policies were wrong. They were bankrupt and they weren't right for Australia. And I believe we're at the point where we're seeing the tide turning on this policy. Mandatory detention is a, is a bankrupt policy. No matter who is rolling it out. Now, I've made no secret as, as a union member and a union official and a Labor Party member that I oppose these policies and I am with many others who oppose these policies within the Labor Party and the union movement. In fact, I believe the union movement has always been um, at the forefront of this issue in more recent times. And we are actually dealing with these policies. We are dealing with the issues of people who gain right to work and who then consequently may be exploited in the workforce. So we have refugee members in unions and we are involved on a weekly basis with dealing with their particular issues around work employment and resettlement, as many others here are, through the churches and through community organisations. This is something that impacts on our lives on a weekly basis. We're not talking theoretically about this issue. If we are to return to a more humane policy, then we have to really zone in on what parts of the policy we want dismantled first. And Manus Island and the PNG solution 
and the so-called Cambodia solution that somebody's talking about have to be curtailed now. We have to start building the movement very quickly from now on. Now, we know they're bankrupt policies. We know they're costing both this government and the previous government an absolute fortune and they won't even reveal the actual facts about how much it's costing. We know that people are going to die and we know that more and more people are going to be harmed by these policies. We've only had another incident last week which you'll notice the mainstream media have almost not covered at all where a man self-immolated and he's currently in intensive care, probably not likely to recover from the burns from having tried to kill himself. Um, we have many in detention who harm themselves every day and whose mental health is, is declining rapidly. Why would we do this to people who, want, who are simply fleeing persecution and war? Persecution and war, I might add, that we've actually been involved in, in their countries. It is the only decent thing to do to welcome those people into a safe environment and a safe asylum, as Australia has always been. So we have to, we have to really attack those detention policies. We have to get all children out of detention. I, I seem to recall we've been down this road before. No child should ever be held in detention. This is exactly what these people have been fleeing from. So it is really critical from now on that this unity keeps building, that more and more people who haven't been brave enough or haven't felt concerned enough start to come out to show their voice, to, to, to state their voice about this issue. And so it is, I implore you again to go out and talk to more people and look I know because we talk to our union members about this issue a lot and we know that a lot of people are quite ignorant of the facts. So the little flyer with the, the design on the front, that's on the back of this banner, that gives you all of the key facts, just take one of those so that you're always got armed with the information about what the actual facts are. Currently we are taking about 13,500 people a year as refugees under this coalition government. Under the previous Labor government, we were taking 20,000 refugees. More than that go across a border in Italy or a border just about anywhere else in the world, including the American borders, every day. We are a laughing stock in the rest of the world saying we can't take any more people. We need to have some perspective about this issue. We are going to see more and more refugees wanting to seek asylum in Australia for other reasons, and they would be climate change reasons. We are surrounded by people living on Pacific islands and atolls that are gradually sinking or becoming overrun by the sea. Are we going to turn around to these people and say, oh, no, sorry, you can't come and seek refuge in Australia? We'll have you here on unskilled visas to come and pick our fruit and our vegetables, but we won't let you flee here if you've got no country to live in anymore. Well, I tell you what, I won't be silent if we actually go down that road. I'll be marching every day. And I ask you all to join me. Let's end these policies now. Thank you for listening.